So something else that I have been working Quinn with lately is working on nudging and touching. Um, Quinn is a medical alert and balance assistance dog, but she does, she still does psych, I can never say it right, psychiatric work. Um, I mean, I have autism, severe depression, um, and I'm on the autism spectrum disorder as well, along with many other things, but those are things that affect me the most. Um, I've been working with her through mainly um, anxiety and my autism on like self-harm. Uh, my medicine has been changed, it's been, things have been taken away and added, and nothing has been helping me lately. Um, my depression and my anxiety have just gotten so bad that it's just sent me to terrible places lately. Um, I haven't made that many videos lately just because I've kind of been avoiding the subject. Um, I have, um, a couple years ago I was in a partial program at a hospital in Ohio for, um, because I was really considering suicide for some time and I was there a couple of months, I don't remember exactly how many, um, but I haven't really been thinking of it lately. It's just more of I just want everybody to go away from me. I just want to be a hermit in my room and just turn off all the lights and shut the doors and just I haven't gone anywhere. I've been kind of skipping school a little bit. Um, I don't really want to go anywhere that I don't have to go. So on the subject of depression, anxiety, my autism, um, I've, you know, I've just been terrible at school, you know, I can't focus on anything, you know, I've had meltdowns over the simplest of things because I just have no tolerance for anything. I mean, I don't like calling them meltdowns, but it, my body just shuts down and typically I just get frustrated, you know, um, I don't know if everybody with on the autism spectrum has it, but hitting yourself, self-inflicting, um, pulling hair out, chewing, um, those kind of things have really always kind of been there and they've just more, have surfaced a lot more lately than they used to. So also with like the anxiety has just set me into panic attacks, you know, but I'll go, like, the other day at the movie theater, um, I don't remember what we went to see, but we went there and I wasn't really anxious about getting there, you know, we got, got in there, it wasn't overly crowded, you know, there was no really any children, there was nothing to be worried about, and I was content with myself, but walking, I, I've had it before where everything just feels like heavy but numb and limp. So my legs don't want to work my arms, I can't physically pick anything up or grab anything, I can barely keep myself up, you know, I slur all my words, I don't understand anything, and you know that happens, and when it happened, Quinn was very adamant on making sure I was going to be okay, and she kept nudging me and pushing me and blocking me, which she has done for alerting me to asthma and low oxygen, but she's never done it necessarily for those kind of conditions, and I thought maybe she was alerting to um, my oxygen levels, and I checked it and they were normal, so over time it just got worse, and then we realized, wow, she just kind of alerted to something different, so lately what I have been just kind of trying to do is um, trying to get her to do different things for anxiety or um, panic or whatever you want to call it. So 
like for asthma, she does um, blocking. She blocks me from leaving. She pushes me. She just acts out of the ordinary. And I I don't always pick it up when she's doing it, but I know when she is kind of doing it at the same time. So I want to be able to decipher one from the other. So I've been working on touching with her for a couple of days. Um, that is the word that the training program suggested that I use. So um, touching, um, right now it's just in the beginning of stages of touching my legs, my arms. Um, we've been practicing like with hitting my head and pulling my hair. Um, and she's so you know just doing that we've been working on grounding me or deep pressure therapy some people call i can use both terms um sitting in a chair sitting on the floor laying down in different positions like that just to kind of get her to when it comes that she'll be able to handle that situation because before probably the first week i had her and i had an episode she was just scared of me because i was insane you know, but now she's starting to understand, oh crap, you need my help. So, she, I don't, her, I don't necessarily want to change her title to like, I know some people use like multi-purpose service dogs, and but I don't really want to call it that because that doesn't make any sense. Yet, I don't want to call her a psychiatric, can't say it still, so, um, medical alert and balance assistance because that's just really long and I don't want to say that so I'm just going to kind of stick with the medical alert and balance assistance you know because when people hear psych psychiatric they like oh you're, you're a mental person so I really don't I mean I don't mind saying it it's just I don't want people thinking that I have her for my anxiety because people just irritate me like oh she's for your anxiety well then you really don't need a dog and I have just been so ridiculously irritated at that. You know what? Even though Quinn is for my asthma and she's for um, balance, she is in every other way. She's also an autism service dog, a psychiatric service dog, an asthma, an asthma, an anxiety, depression service dog. You know, she is all of that in one. You know, but I don't necessarily call her out on it. So, you'll probably see more videos talking about that or going in depth and that. Um, I've been just training her the way that I think she should be trained. I haven't really looked up. I've, well, I've seen videos in the past on training stuff like that and I just kind of want to do it my own way. So... On that subject, I just wanted to go in a little depth if you guys had any questions about what was going on or anything like that. And again, I haven't really been posting all that much, but I'm trying to get myself back out there and trying to get myself kind of stable. Um, so yeah. Um, Hey, sweetie. She likes to be tucked around me. I don't put her back here. She decided that she would. Here, let me open this up. Can you kind of see her? There she is. She's behind my chair. She didn't finish her dinner. So. Oh, wrong way. There you go. So, yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions about that, I just wanted to address some of that stuff now.